In this video, we will look at other components of the oil burner. We see the side of the oil burner where the air shutters are at, and this air shutters will send air in through the blower to allow air to mix with the oil. It has adjustments on the side of it, so a technician will know how far to set this and mark it so any adjustments can be made in the future and know where to send it back to. At the same time, we have an oil pump. This oil pump is a uh, rotary type pump which will send uh, high pressure oil to the nozzle. Basically, on the shaft, it will have a coupling connected to the motor which will turn this at a high RPM and will build the pressure up. Also because this is a rotary type pump and it can get air trapped inside of the veins and cause it not to build up pressure. So there's a bleeder to allow air to get bled from the pump and the oil lines. There's oil adjustment screw to adjust the pressure to 100 PSI. And there's ports on it, so you can allow you to add gauges so you will know what the return pr uh, pressure is and also the supply pressure that is building up in the system. Or these can be removed by the technician, these plugs, and put gauges to be able to check and service it, then put the plugs back when finished. The other components you find on the opposite side of the blower assembly would be the connection for the blower motor and the blower wheel. I will show you that this will be the blower assembly. This blower assembly will have the, the squirrel cage blower and the motor which will connect to the blower housing. And with all this connected together, it will work in a continuous fashion while it's running to allow air and fuel to be sent through the burner assembly.